of what some of your calculations looked like tonight across the tables. And this will be available on the website soon. Usually it takes a week or two with a little bit more of an explanation. So what we tried to do here is look at the four different categories and take which was the smallest amount of cut made or perhaps investment spending, what was the highest amount of savings from any group in that category, and what was the average. So you will see here in general government spending, the lowest amount was actually spending $42 billion. The highest amount of cuts was $800 billion, and on average it was about $94 billion in savings from Category 1 across the groups that we were able to collect. In Category 2, Homeland Security and Defense, the least amount of cuts was nothing cut. The most amount of cuts was $200 billion in cuts. So on average across the groups, we were looking at about $160 billion roughly. For Category 3, Taxation and Revenues, you will see that the least amount of cuts or the most amount of spending was $2.3 trillion. And what that meant was people let some or all of the tax cuts be extended, and so it was a loss of that revenue. And I'm guessing that was an extension of where we are in the economy right now. All right? The most amount of cuts made in, in taxation and revenue was 373. That was probably raised revenue, raised increases. And so on average, you're looking at um, losing $585 billion. Finally, in the entitlements, again, a negative number, which means you spent $269 million as the, the, the lowest saved or the most spent. The highest amount of savings was $577 million by at least one table, and on average it was about $360 million in savings. So when you shake that all out, on average this group tonight came up with about $27 billion in savings. And I think the picture here is people have discussed their interest in raising revenues, but letting tax cuts expire in this economy is pretty hard to chew. And so that's what I think this graph says, and the congressman will interpret this more when he looks at the data with his staff. But this is a snapshot of where we are today. And so with that, I know the staff will be around for questions, and I will be here for a brief amount of time as well. But otherwise, we thank you very, very much, and have a, have a great evening.